is Record Store Day 2015 and we are in Glasgow. The sun is shining, music is playing and crate digging skills are being put to the test. Basically, you don't want to miss this. This is Record Store Day 2015 in Glasgow. yourself in Glasgow on Record Store Day, you will be faced with some bittersweet choices. There are dozens of record shops, special events, live performances, and only one day to take it all in. Well, not exactly, because Glasgow is one of the liveliest music hubs in the world every day of the year. But let's see what people are looking for in Glasgow this record store day. Yeah, it was after the placebo first album, but that's gone. 90s and 70s funk, I think. I was really looking for this. My favourite album. Some techno from a guy called Tooting. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Venetian Snares, the break core artist from Canada. He's got like a few reissues. Picked up a couple of records from some local guys. Jasper James, uh, Dion numbers. It's more sort of place thing. It's that. Wow. It's the 60s to the 80s and there's other things as well. There's Sex Pistols, there's No Gallagher, Foo Fighters. So in total it was roughly about £220. I'm just having a look around. I'm just here to see what I can scoop up. I, I kind of go shopping for records maybe once or twice a year, but when I do, I just kind of like go all out. So I figured I'd save up for today. It'd be worth it. But it's like a massive get together. Records, that's it. All about records. And how old are you guys? Um, I'm 17. 17. 18. 16. <laughs> <laughs> it's an all ages thing. There's no discrimination. There might not be age discrimination, but some claim Record Store Day is becoming increasingly exclusive. What started out as a celebration of independent record stores is arguably being taken over by major labels and resellers looking to make a quick profit. I think it's a lot of people rushing to the store just to sell shit later on eBay. Started it as independent record store day, but now the big labels have took over. Uh, if you went down to Love Music at 9 o'clock this morning, you'd have seen a humongous queue outside it. And basically all the people are basically just out for the one day to buy one record that the record label has actually already released before. But we package it into vinyl and saying it's a limited edition thing, which is a bit of a con. Charge a fortune for it. We headed to one of Glasgow's most beloved independent record shops, New Hellfire Club, to speak to its owner about his view of Record Store Day. Pressing plants, uh, are you aware that a lot of independent record labels can actually get their material pressed because the major labels have booked the pressing plants for months in advance over a period of time. And it's only for one point, one tiny portion of the year, but it does have a knock-on effect uh, for smaller labels. So while it supports record shops, it's not really spreading out and supporting everybody as it as the original intent was. So you think obviously this day just became far too commercialised then? Yeah, far too commercialised. I'm aware that the White Stripes album was getting sold in a few stores for about £50 and another store was selling it for 38 So if a store's selling it for 38 and they're putting a profit margin on that, the ones that are selling it for 50 are putting a very, very large profit margin on it. And I can understand as a business sometimes this is a payday for the year, but at the same time, does that help returning business if you're going to ask for £50 for one single album? Are people going to come back in again and again and again uh, when it's such an expensive sort of hobby to have, really? And I think that Record Store Day is picking up on that angle of it making an expensive hobby for people. And once again, use the word exclusive. So you're, if you can't afford £50 for an album, you're, you're excluded straight away. Uh, and that's, that's a shame. All this is part of the reason why some stores have decided not to take part in Record Store Day celebrations this year. In Glasgow, this is the case with rub -a dub To be honest, I think that's been, it may have been misconstrued slightly. I think that kind of we just this year decided that it's a lot of, um, 
Uh, it's quite a lot of hassle getting all the stuff and sometimes it's quite difficult to get what you want. Um, but we just decided this year to just kind of celebrate what it is that we do. And I think that's really kind of what the day is about really. You know, rather than trying to get all the kind of the, in, the interesting exclusives and stuff, I think it's more about just celebrating what you have, you know, so. Vinyl is, vinyl's back, vinyl's back, and it's like, well, it's not really gone anywhere as far as places like this are concerned. Yeah.